start from this particular quarter final, the world champion and the overall world champion at the moment from last year's Hi everyone, this is a very exciting video. As promised, I showed you all some really important reactions on Instagram to my pregnancy, but they were like four second clips of huge videos that I had to condense right down to turn into a reel. So on this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you the extended versions with a little bit of background knowledge behind how it went down, why it went down. Just a bit of gossip, really. So shall we get started with the most important one that you haven't all seen? My reaction! Wow. That travels all over the fucking bad mood the Brits. This is a hard one to, to explain, and I think you can see in the video it was a hard one to get me head round. I just did a lot of this and staring because I don't know whether anyone who relates with us who's watching this video, when you first find out you're pregnant, what an overwhelming feeling that is. I really didn't know what to think because my mind was being pulled and torn from all different direction. I was elated because I didn't know that I would be able to get pregnant. I didn't know how easy or how hard it was gonna be. I was also like myself, like my whole life is about to change. My whole body's about to change. My whole life's about to change. Am I ready for this? And I think everyone asks themselves that question. And then there was the fact that like me and Jake, we hadn't been together the longest of times. And I was like, oh my God. This is very soon to be banging out such big news. So it was kind of like, oh my God, like, is this what, what? <laughs> there was a lot going on in the head. So as you can see, I'm just like staring and I'm also naked on the bottom half because I just had the wee in the cup that is in the video the whole way through the little cup of urine. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at the test thinking, how now do I get Jake in here without him knowing that I know, and without him knowing that I'm recording. So like, I'm sat still there for the second thinking, right, okay, I'll just shout them in and pretend that they're still loading, because you know how pregnancy tests load and you've got to wait a couple of minutes till the, re the result comes through. Obviously they've loaded, and his face is such a good one. He is shocked to the core, because honestly, guys, I had a feeling I was pregnant. I was three days late for a period, wasn't sleeping very well, I was waking up five o'clock in the morning, every morning, which I found really strange. And I was having these vivid dreams and I was such a bitch. My God, I was awful to be around. A poor Jake, poor Jake. He, he honestly said at one point, he thought I was like, maybe like going off him. <laughs> but it wasn't, I couldn't, I didn't know where this feeling was coming from. Like, I, I didn't know why I was so angry all the time <laughs> or in such a bad mood. I had a feeling, but he literally, when I said, I think I might be pregnant, he was like, no, aren't girls late on the period all the time? So he really did not believe that I would be, but he was just as happy, guys. He is wanting to be a dad. That's all he's ever wanted. And we've both been in the wrong relationships all of our lives. Thank God we didn't have kids with the people who we were with. And most of the people didn't want that, didn't want children either. So we knew we both wanted children. It was really important that I discussed that with him before we even got serious. Because I'm not at the age of 32 where I can just jump into a relationship and, and would not be on the same wavelength because I can't waste any more time and I want kids. A really fun fact about when me and Jake found out he took us to the most romantic getaway. I've never been trapped like this before. So we were already in this love bubble, even though I've been a bit of a bitch. 
There was rose petals in everywhere. He'd booked a suite and he'd booked dinner reservations every single night. He's very suave like that. When I came into his apartment, he had photos of us on balloons dangling everywhere. He'd really went all out. So we were in the most romantic setting to find out news like that. And honestly, when we went to the spa the day after we found out, we were in such a bubble. I remember being like cuddling him in the swimming pool. We were looking each, into each other's eyes and the bond at that minute was so deep, the connection. Together, we've made a life and it was just so intense. I felt really horny, but we, like, we couldn't do anything about it because we were in the spa. So yeah, I mean, let's move on swiftly. The next video is when I told Lauren. Now, I thought Lauren might have suspected, but actually she never suspected. And I was desperate to tell one of my best friends. I couldn't hold it in much longer. And I'd had two scans, so I felt confident I could tell someone because everything was going really like well and, and good. I invited Lauren round and I pretended I needed to get some photos in Pepper Girls Club because she's always helping us take photos. So I put the Pepper Girls Club t-shirts on, we're taking photos and that's when Jake says, so on the count of three, yeah. we'll say, Charlotte's pregnant. <laughs> Stop it! My two best friends who have kids, I didn't record the other one, were both dead excited for us because they've got children. I think they'd love us all to have children, to be honest, but there's still a couple of us who aren't ready for that. I know like, loads of my friends don't have children yet, so everyone's on their different journeys. That was Lauren's. This is a really good one. So, James and Theo. James is one of my hairdressers and Theo is his boyfriend. Now, this is a story for you. This is like something that would happen on Friends, right? We're in London. Me and Jake have just found out. And Jake's obviously sat thinking, Fuck, Charlotte's pregnant and I've made all these plans for us all weekend because every day we had plans, but they were a surprise, so I wasn't allowed to know. On the second day, we found out that I'm pregnant. So he's thinking, uh-oh, I've invited James and Theo to meet us tonight at Sexy Fish for food and drinks and a wild night out afterwards. What the hell are we gonna do? They're my two best friends. I can't drink now. I didn't have any clue that they were coming. So Jake's thinking, what do I do now? Do I just tell them not to come? So he sits us down on the bed and says, I'm gonna have to tell you about this plan. I'd invited James and Theo tonight and I'd booked karaoke for us after Sexy Fish. And I, I, I was thinking we could, you know, go clubbing afterwards and we could make a night of it. He went, but obviously we can't do that now. And I went, oh my God. I went, but I thought James and Theo were at that cabin in, in like the lakes. Jake was like, no, that was, that was all a lie. So you wouldn't know that they were coming. And I went, what? They've been lying to us all this time. Bearing in mind, the whole weekend, James is sending us videos from a cabin, right? Saying, oh, isn't this a lovely cabin, Charlotte? Look, I've just got videos of the view and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. That James would have to give us the details. I'd like to stay there. So at this point, I'm like, who's cabin when he's been sending us videos of? So then we've got to come up with a plan. I was on a bit of a high at this point. The shock's over. We've been for Sunday dinner. We're on a bit of a high. We're excited now. We're going to be parents. We're so excited. I mean, you shouldn't tell anyone this far on, really, because you you need to go for scans and stuff to check everything's okay. And God forbid I had the worry of me being in another fallopian tube. Thankfully, that was not the case, and it was in the womb. But I said to Jake at that point, just still let them come. And he went, but what are you going to do? You can't drink in front of them. You're gonna, they're going to know if you're not drinking. And I went, I know, but I'll, I'll pretend I'm drinking. I'll order a non-alcoholic drink from the bar when I go to the toilet and get them just to bring it over so that I don't have to order it in front of them. And then we'll tell them. And he went, what? He went, you sure you want to tell them? I went, yeah. I went, it seems right. It seems like this was all destined to happen. We were always meant to be meeting James. They're my best friends. Like, I, I, I'll tell them. I went, hey, regardless of what happens, I'd tell them anyways. So now I'm texting James, knowing fine well he's not in the cabin, but he doesn't know that I know that he's not at the cabin, and he doesn't know that I know that he's coming tonight. God, it's all very confusing. So we're both lying to each other at this point, and I'm like, oh, just on my way to dinner now. How's the cabin going? And he was like, oh, it's so cozy. We've just put the log fire on. And I was like, what a f***ing bare-faced liar. 
I can't wait to tell about you all along. So we get the sexy fish here, and now I've got to pretend like I don't know they were coming. So this is the hard bit. So I'm thinking I've got to act surprised here. So I see them at the bar and I go, James, see you. Oh my God. Anyways, I get away with it, right? And my acting skills are very good. We're all sat down and then we tell them that news. So on the count of three, everyone say, Charlotte's pregnant. No, don't. You're lying. 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 You're so did you know we were coming? And I was like, yeah. He went, what? I've been lying all this time for no reason. I went, yeah. He went, but you acted surprised. I went, it was all a lie. Next one. When we told Jake's mum, we were so nervous. We invited her around to Jake's house. She was in the kitchen helping fix this little um, drawer handle. And we were in the bedroom. And I was like, come on, hurry up. I've got to get this over and done with. My heart's racing. So we went out and we surprised her with the same way we did a couple of people taking a photo and she was gobsmacked. Right, we'll do a cheese, yeah? So on the count of three, we're gonna say, Charlotte's pregnant. Charlotte's pregnant? Is she? <laughs> Are you? I'm pregnant. Are you? <laughs> no. I am. You're just killing me. No, no, you? no, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That same day, we were going to San Carlo to meet his brother and we planned this big family meal so that we could tell them both. So at this point, Jake's mom knows, but his brother doesn't. So we all get to the mail, but his brother's late, but his brother works on weekends in nightclubs. He's got events and stuff, so he's up until late. So he turned up really tired and admittedly hungover, probably still pissed. We were like, this is gonna be awkward telling him because he could barely even open his eyes. <laughs> I'm not I'm not i not He's so shocked, you can see the confusion in his face. He's like, what? He just doesn't he just doesn't understand, but a lot of people were very shocked. And yeah, there's not much more of a story to that one, but it was a really, really, really nice day. Next video. So, when I told Adam, I could not wait any longer to tell him. I had to tell him before I told Jamie, because Jamie was never around. He was always gallivanting with friends in Leicester and London. So I couldn't wait any longer. So I was like, Adam, I need to come round. Look at all these cute photos that Jake printed off for us and he wow. tied them on balloon well, strings. Right. I feel zigzag my way up from Wait, I mean, you dressed half wet, so... No, well, it was raining. I'll travel from Fenwick on the 3rd of July, Port Glasgow, onto the ferry from Oak. And you, you're lying. Miles of you're lying. You're lying. Oh, <laughs> when I told Adam, he was so shocked. Even when I put that phone down after videoing, he still did not believe that I was pregnant. And I actually said to him, I went, I don't know whether you're ever going to think this is real. And he went, I know. He went, I, I, I don't. And I was like, but it is, Adam. I'm having a baby. And I think actually only until recently has it really sunk in with Adam. And that leads us on to the next video, which is Jamie's. Yeah, I like that one. What are you doing? Is it going to be like a <laughs> <laughs> That's vile. Uh -oh. I can't believe that. <laughs> you two are moving quick. 
Jamie finally got back from gallivanting on all of his travels and was about to go away again. So I needed to nab him. Him and Adam were going off somewhere. So I was like, I'm going to come round tonight. And then I told Jamie and Jamie, it's so annoying because in Jamie's video, you see he turns around because he's crying. But he, he turned, he didn't want he didn't want us to record him crying, obviously, but it was really, really sweet. And he was crying and it was so, so cute. Jamie did believe, unlike Adam, but um it was it was really cute. Jamie's was so cute. I'm angry he didn't let us film the crying. I would have loved that. I have saved the best video till last. My nana's, and this is the full version. It's just on, you don't have to press anything. Just don't be that be a bit inconspicuous. Put it down a little bit though. You can just get it up at the right time. Little Nana! Hello, my darling. How are you feeling, my little Nana? She's got a new jumper on. But I got her. I think it's for Charlotte. Oh! So I've got a present for you. Happy darling. Mm -hmm. It's not your Chanel. I hope you like it. Ready? Oh, congratulations, <laughs> darling. Oh, I'm over the moon. <laughs> Are you Nana? Yeah. yeah. And we'll um, all sit together, all of us. <laughs> I, oh, man. I love you, darling. Oh, God, that's great news. You're crying. It's <laughs> all I can think. Oh, I hear you crying. I always look ugly when I'm all crying. <laughs> oh, that's great news. What Sean. do you think, Nana? Hey. What do you think? What do you think it's going to be then? Oh, I don't know. I can't see them to you. Got a big head like Charlotte. This is my cutest bit. When she says, "My mum goes, oh, is that that nice grey jumper that I bought you?" She went, "Yeah, I've put it on for Charlotte." That's so cute. So I think the video speaks for itself. We just went over my nana's and we told her, and honestly, it's the happiest I've ever seen her. Now she's got a sister, my auntie Letitia, and she's got loads of great grandchildren. And my mum said, because when we left, I went, Nana was, I've never seen her that happy. She went, Charlotte, you don't understand how much she's wanted a great grandchild. Our sister's got great grandchildren. And I think she's always been a little bit jealous and a little bit sad. Like she, she would have loved to have one, but obviously Nathaniel's not gonna have kids anytime soon. She actually said to me, mum, I don't think Charlotte will ever have kids which was a bit nasty. Honestly, it's the happiest I've ever seen me Nana in life. It really, really is. And it was the most, it was my favorite reaction by far. And if you see, she actually's crying a little bit and then my mom cries and we all just cry together. Because it's been my dream that, because when me, me mum and me Nana are together, she's always like, oh, it's the four, the three generations of girls all together. So it's literally my dream for, is to have my baby and us all sit in a little line, it'd be the four generations. And then me nana can be like, oh, it's now the four generations. That's my dream. How sad is that? So yeah, that's all of the reactions videos. I hope you enjoyed them. And I'm gonna go now because I've got terrible heartburn and I need to drink some milk. But yeah, like this video, comment, whatever you want. Whose reaction was your favorite? Tell us, please do tell us. Also, you're all asking about Holly and Sophie's reactions. They're here, they are in the atmosphere, as well as Scotty T's, Aaron's, so many more, James, Jay, believers. You've got a whole realm of reactions that are gonna come exclusively to something very special. So I can't show you any of them, but believers, good things come to those who wait, and they are good. So yeah, bye. Please subscribe to my channel.